Hi everyone, in this video I want to show you how to configure OpenVPN server on your home router. In my example I'll be using an Asus RTAX58U or RTAX3000 router, but the instructions I'm gonna show you apply to all routers that support OpenVPN server. So this video will show you how to configure OpenVPN on your router, how to connect from outside your home network to this OpenVPN server that you're gonna configure on your router and how to browse the internet from outside your home network using the internet of your home network. So I'm gonna show you all this in my video. So let's start. The first step to do is to log into the administration page of the router and I'm gonna show you after this step by step what we are going to do in order to achieve this. So this here is the administration page of my Asus router. The first step we need to do is to configure a dynamic DNS name so that we can use this name to access our network from outside our home network. We need dynamic DNS for many reasons. The first reason is that if your ISP gives you a dynamic IP, meaning an IP that changes so that you don't have to reconfigure VPN each time, this way you can use a dynamic DNS, which is a name that points to the IP. So the IP will change, but the name will stay constant. And the second reason is that even if your ISP gives you a static IP, meaning an IP that doesn't change, it's always like more user friendly to use a name instead of a series of numbers. So let's configure the DNS here. In the ASUS router, to configure dynamic DNS, you need to go to one and then under one, click here on DDNS and you have enable the DDNS client. Click on yes to enable it and keep method to retrieve one IP as it is. And for the server, Asus gives you the ability to configure your dynamic DNS using their domain name, which is asus.com here. So here I advise you to leave it on asus.com. For the host name, put any host name here. I have put a host name, which is MHNOVN, which is my home network open VPN. So this is a host name that I chose randomly like this. And for the certificate, if your router provides you with a free certificate, it's always better to choose to get the free certificate. So here, my router, which is an Asus router, which by the way is a terrific router, it provides me with a free certificate from Let's Encrypt. So I'm gonna select this. And here, when you fill in all these information here, just click on apply. And here you see registration is successful. In case the registration is not successful, it means that the host name here is taken by someone else. Simply try another host name and it will work like this. So this was the first step, which is configuring dynamic DNS. Let's go now to the second step, which is enabling the VPN server, the open VPN server on the router. So to configure VPN on the ASUS router, it is on the left towards the bottom. Of course, search for it in your router. So here it is here. Click on it and here we are interested in this option, which is VPN server. And you have many options in the ASUS router. So here we are configuring open VPN. So I'm going to click on open VPN and you see it is disabled now. So I'm going to click here, enable open VPN server to toggle it to on. And when it is on, you have some information to fill in and I'm going to guide you step by step on how to fill this information. So here first on VPN details, keep it on general. I'm going to show you the advanced settings later on very quickly. We don't need them. And for the server port here, Asus recommends using a port from 1024 to 65535. So here put any number between these numbers. So here I'm going to put 1026. And then for the RSA encryption, I'm going to keep it on 1024 bits. It is sufficient for me because if you put it on 2048, it will become slower. Of course, here it depends on the security settings you want. For me, 1024 bit is sufficient. And here it is very important to know what to choose under client will use VPN to access. You have local network only and internet and local network. So what does this mean? Local network only, it means that when the client connects to your VPN server from outside your home network, this client will have only access to the 
devices on your home network so this client cannot go and browse the internet and this is something that i don't want because i want internet and local network and this is what i chose here so this way when i connect to my vpn server from outside my home network and when i browse the internet the browsing will be secure because all the information will go through the VPN tunnel and I'll be browsing the internet as if I am browsing the internet from my home network. So this way, wherever I am in an internet cafe or at work or anywhere else, the browsing only goes through the VPN tunnel and no one can sniff the data that I am transmitting over the internet. And now the next setting we need to set up is that we need to create a username for the VPN server. By default, the administration user of the router will have full access so here it is i'm gonna create another user here so i'm gonna call it kst for knowledge sharing tech and i'm gonna give it a strong password of course here the password is for the purpose of this video give your user always a very strong password and i'm gonna click on plus here so this way i created this user so now click on apply and the settings will be applied to your router so now the OpenVPN server is enabled. Let me show you a little bit before going to the next step. What are the advanced settings here? So under VPN details, if you click on advanced settings, you have primarily the same settings that we've just configured. And on top of this setting, there are some other settings. So here it will show you that the protocol, for instance, it is UDP. And here it will show you that the VPN subnet will be 10800. So when a client connects to the VPN, it will be given an IP in this range here. So let me go back to general settings here. So now to connect to the VPN server, you need to export the OpenVPN configuration file. And this is the option here. When you export the file, you can use it on any device that supports an OpenVPN client, whether it is a smartphone, whether it is a Linux, Macintosh, or any other system here i'm gonna be using windows 11 so i'm gonna show you how to do this first i'm gonna click on export to export the configuration file and then i'm gonna save the configuration file in my downloads folder so click on save to save it and the configuration on the router is finished so now i'm gonna disconnect my pc from my home network and connect it to my cell network so this way i'm simulating that i am connecting from outside my home network so here I'm going to connect to my cell network, as I told you. So this is a Wi-Fi network here. I'm going to choose my cellular network, which is this one here. Let's click on connect. And now I am connected to my cell network. So here I shouldn't have access to my router anymore because I'm connected to my cell network. If I refresh here the page, I should have an error. So I'm going to show you here if I put IPlocation.net what IP it will be returned. So this is IPlocation.net. And notice this IP here. It is an IPv6 IP. And this is not my ISP's IP. So I just went to IPlocation.net here to show you the IP before I connect to the VPN. So here I'm going to download now the OpenVPN client for Windows so that I can connect to the VPN server that I just created. So let's open a new tab and go to openvpn.net and here hover over VPN client and then click on open VPN connect. And here it detected directly that we have Windows. Of course, if you want to download it for another system here, just select your operating system and then click on download. So I'm going to click on download OpenVPN Connect for Windows. And here it is downloading. And when the download finishes, we need to install the OpenVPN Connect client. So let's go to the downloads folder. And here it is under downloads. So let's double click on the OpenVPN client to install it. Click on next to continue and then click on I accept next and install it will install the openvpn client if prompted click on yes and here's the openvpn client installed and it launched openvpn directly so here this is a help screen first just scroll through it to finish click on agree and then ok and here you need to import the file that we created using the openvpn server on your router so click on file here and let's click on browse and this is the client openvpn configuration file that we exported from our router click on it click on open 
and here it will give you here the open vpn profile automatically so if you click on connect here you need to put the username and the password that you created on your router so here we created kst if you remember the username and for the password we have put strong pass one two three and then click on ok and the connection should be established and you see here that the open vpn client is connected now so let me show you now if i go to ip location how the ip location it will reflect the ip location of my isp's home internet connection so let me go here to ip location once again here it is here so if i just refresh it here and you notice here that this is the ip that is my home network's ip and it changed of course so this is how you browse the internet through your home network whenever you are in the world so here to show you that we are really on our home network even though we are outside the home network so i'm gonna go to the administration page of my router and it should open also so this is the administration page of the router if i refresh it it should open and you see that the router was accessed and i can even log to my router even though i am on an external network and notice here if i scroll down that you'll see that which user is connected to the vpn and this is kst connected to the vpn i hope that you found this video useful and that you like this video if you did please share it subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up i would really appreciate it and this will help my channel greatly and if you have any comments or questions please leave them in the comments section below and i'll be glad to answer all your questions and to answer all your comments i'm eloy and i want to thank you all for watching see you on the next video